All right, just just to give you scale, how big this head is. Not very big. This just shows you the old face next to the new face, and you can see that I've made it just a little bit smaller, not not hugely small, but uh, a little bit, just enough to uh, make it conform to the uh, size of the Indian's body that's uh, riding the horse. Anyway, I'm going to put this aside now. After watching the uh, video yesterday, I think I'm going to make the mouth just a little bit wider. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll split the jaw just a little bit. Cut away the clay out so I can move it. All right. Now let's try it. Because if he's going to be opening his mouth wider, I got to move the jaw too, so it all works. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it this way, but <coughs> he's got to be showing something, uh, maybe. I'll decide as I get into it. I have to work on it. It's cold outside. It's uh, 8 degrees right now. Actually, 5 degrees now. Oh, my God. Ugh. I just had to go and then shoveling the snow. And it's still snowing, so I've got to do it again tomorrow as I get into it. I've done this before. It's just been years since I've ever done this. It's probably clear back in the uh, 80s since the last time I did this type of thing. Now with this uh, clay that I'm using, it's a medium grade uh, JMAC clay. Um, I don't have to heat up the clay to use it because I'm doing small enough that uh, I can just take little bits of clay out and uh, use them. And uh, they warm up real fine and fast in my fingers. That's just a little too big. Nah, I don't like it. It's It looks too weird. And uh, I looked up on the uh, web and Google Pictures uh, Shouting Men, and and it, it, it's just too extreme. So I'm going to take it down a little. And I'll just cut out the uh, excess here. Starting to look like the Joker now. I'm going to keep his mouth open, but I'm just not going to keep it that much open. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I'll try that and see how it works. Okay, what I was doing is it's just 
sticking these, this tool up in the uh, mouth, inside the mouth, and pushing out a little bit to uh, give it some form. Sometimes it's easier just to do that than to add clay. Boy, this is taking a long time. I don't usually spend as much time on a, on a face, but I really feel like this face has to just show the right uh, emotion. And that's why I'm working so hard at it. That's one of the keys to sculpting is uh, you try to tell a story through the actions of the character that you're sculpting or, in this case, through his face. And this is a really small face. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there are so many good artists out there, good sculptors who can work even smaller than this and and make it look even more detailed and I'm not sure I guess they're doing it in in some kind of material that uh, is a little harder than this stuff but boy that's as soft as this stuff is I'm happy I can even get anything See how this is going to look on the the horse. I mean the body of the guy. So I'm going to let's see. I got to change the direction of them. Got to do this carefully because I don't want to. I don't want to hit the face with the uh, drill. Okay. I'm certainly not done with the head yet, but. Uh, I'm not going to actually mount the head. I just want to put it up here and see how it looks proportionally to the body. Now well, it's it's good. It's good. All right, everybody. Uh, that's going to be it for the weekend uh, or this week. And I'll pick this up next week. Yeah, I'm really liking it. I'm going to work a little more on his forehead on Monday and then uh, start putting the uh, the wolf. I'm going to put the wolf head on or on his head before I uh, actually uh, put it back on the uh, body because I want to get it started and I want to be able to detail it here rather than reaching over the horse and do it and detailing it. So we'll do that Monday. Have a great one.